was to run under 61 minutes together with uh, Simon. But uh, I started with like a 2.46, um, but it felt really good. So I'm doing the 500s now, two times, and then I'm going to the start line. Richard Ringer back in Barcelona racing for the half marathon one week after the Monaco 5k on the road. Um, the last week was really nice um, with a national record. Now it's even with uh, Samuel Fitby um, for a marathon run, not bad this fast time. So, but, but really in training, what you saw the last workout in Monte Gordo was to prepare for the half marathon here. The goal is under 61 minutes. So the last week, of course, after the competition was an easy one. I just did five times 2K um, in six, uh, 20, six minutes pace with 30 seconds rest. So it was a 10K in 31 minutes um, in total. So it was really fine. And yeah, tomorrow I'm happy also to compete against all runners around the world so the africans of course they i think they want to go under 59 minutes but for sure under sub one hour so for me it's i think a little bit too far so i'm aiming yeah for a bit a bit slower beginning and closing then the gap to the front at the end of the race um, so I hopefully have some some other athletes follow me or that we stay in a group like with Simon Boch I could imagine he has also similar goals than me so and yeah yeah at the moment I'm doing a 10k shakeout run after the flight so my flight was from 12.30 till 2 o'clock so uh, one hour later I just go out here for a little bit of run 10k easy for minutes pace like like yesterday I did also the same so very quiet stuff so just relaxing my legs my mind for the goal tomorrow Hello again. Um, in the evening we had a technical meeting um, how to prepare for the competition tomorrow. It was about pacemakers and we get the PIP number also there. Um, and, um, yeah, we talked a little bit about how, how fast we run. Um, there's only one pacemaker, okay, it's for the first group. They want to go under 59 minutes, so of course it's a bit too fast for several athletes. So, uh, but uh, Simon Boch and me, we already talked together that we try to uh, stay uh, together at the beginning, um, that we reach both our goals under 61 minutes. Um, and I think also there will be maybe some other athletes who joining our group and that we can, yeah, just. Uh, 
a little bit played together in the competition that we changed about pacing a bit and yeah just run together much much better than than alone so yeah it was was nice to see all the other guys like Abdinage for example who was silver medalist at the Olympics uh, in Sapporo uh, two years ago and yeah uh, also um, Gatze Vidi Baba from the women so they're really crazy good athletes on the start line yeah we have a nice weather forecast uh, almost no wind um, so it was my first time in Barcelona um, hopefully I have a chance to see something after the race but uh, first of course focus uh, on the race and yeah want to break my PB uh, of course uh, it's 61.33 um, so yeah the plan is like I said before up 61 and step by step we coming closer to Hamburg what I also want to say like uh, also I run in Monaco with the, the shoe the Metas Peak Sky this time we have a new color we have orange and blue um, so in Monaco it already helped me a lot for my PB 13.32 so it reacts really uh, good, uh, also with that uh, fast pace, but it's a little better when when it's uh, over 250 pace, not under, um, because else, yeah, you are completely in a forefoot, and with half marathon, I think it will be reacting much, much better, and for the marathon, of course, the best. <laughs> so, yeah, I am looking forward to race again with these shoes. Um, it's also a little bit needed to be a little bit uh, um, yeah, a little bit training with the shoe that it's adapting better, um, and yeah, um, I tested it several times, so yeah, I love it. Now it's time to sleep. See you tomorrow. Hey, good morning. It's 5 a.m. in the morning. I already had my breakfast at 4:30. Um, I'm always a bit earlier than everyone. The breakfast started here at 5.30, but it's much too late for me. Um, I wanted to do that four hours before the start. And that was also the, the reason why I eat also much earlier yesterday evening for the dinner. I went also outside, eat a little bit of pasta. Um, instead of waiting here <laughs> till 8 o'clock. Um, at the moment I do a, a little bit of morning walk to activate my muscles a bit. Just easy walking, 10 to 15 minutes. So uh, when I was a track runner, of course I did uh, more like a easy uh, run. Like four kilometers but the competition was in the evening but when the, when the race is starting at 8 30 in the morning i i don't want to uh, yeah do do a run um before uh because also i had to wake up <laughs> like a half an hour more early to first run and then had the breakfast so i take a little bit of bread with honey and banana uh, and then go out for a little walk um, for me it's 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 enough uh, I have a half marathon <laughs> today some some warm-up and cool down and some some easy activating uh, 500 meters before the start um, so it will be like 30k today so I don't don't need an other run in the morning um, but I enjoy it I feel really really uh, good legs um, so the calls are already I would say so there's not like the problems <laughs> like after the last workout I had uh, really struggled uh, with my calls um, but in the Monaco race it was all fine so yeah I'm really looking forward here's the part of, of the course here is uh, this the main main road uh, it's a bit uphill here on this passage um, we're coming from from there and and then cross cross this side um, yeah but uh, I think that's the only part with uphill uh, so yeah it's 
it's a really nice course. After the walk, I will take a quick shower, a cold shower. Um, yeah, to be really fresh for the race. Then I do some exercises um, for my plantar fascia, a little bit of, of rolling, and uh, I will do a little bit of stretching already with the yeah also with the foaming on the back um, and um, with the loop band a little bit um, stretching my my legs uh, just activating yeah then we're starting the warm-up uh, at 7 30 so one hour before the race i will do a 4k warm-up and do a little bit of stretching and starting with uh, like two till three times um, 500 meters in like 320 pace so really easy one to just have a little bit higher heartbeat uh, because else when I'm in start line I, I started with under 60 heartbeat it's uh, a little bit too low to begin with a 250 pace uh, so that's the reason why I want to do that. And yeah, then uh, it's just 10 minutes before the start. Before the start, I watched directly on the start line where I, where I want to stand because from the beginning, the first 200 meters, um, the, the surface from the road was not even and it was a little bit uh, downhill on the left part, so therefore I decided to go on the right part. I made a small mistake from the beginning because I, I followed, I was a little bit too motivated uh, at the start. Um, after yeah, two, three meters, it was the left corner. Um, and yeah, it felt, it felt very good and I followed the first group. Um, but it was a bit too fast. Um, I ran at 2.46 for the first K. And yeah, it, it felt very good, but I know that it was not a good idea. Um, but nevertheless, um, after this first kilometer, the whole pace um, was even in the whole race. Um, but like the first three kilometers, we ran almost together, almost the first group. Um, we passed in 8.33, and then it, it went uh, uphill. Um, and then we get, yeah, we get a lot slower in this passage in, in 357 um, because I, I wanted a bit at the first 5k only and yeah, we crossed in 1427 and we wanted a bit faster but of course it was a bit uh, uphill hard and then the groups were splitted so in the front they started, uh, yeah, they, they increased the pace uh, much more uh, than the first 5k so they were away and in our group there was Abdi Nage from the Netherlands, then was Simon Boch uh, from Germany, Samuel Barretta from Portugal and then there was another guy um, from Africa and there, there, there must be a group of five athletes in the meantime you knew me a little bit I never you look back but um, I felt sometimes when I was not in the lead um, that yeah 
that yeah, Simon uh, was uh, close to me, so I, I also know the, I saw the shadows sometimes, and I know the running style from the athlete, so I know, yeah, who is there. Um, And it was also nice to see um, that the crowd was supporting us. Uh, there was some parts where really a lot of um, people stand around, uh, like the start-finish area, and then on the other part, like at seven, eight kilometers, there were a lot. And the good thing with the bit numbers is that there's the name uh, on it, and then yeah, it always motivates you when you hear your name. Um, of course, it's a sure name, it's, it's Ringer, but it's still nice to hear the people cheering. And yeah, unfortunately, uh, from the pace, it was only Abdi and me who paced the group uh, for the whole half marathon. So, of course, we, we lost a little bit of time um, when, when all five athletes could work together uh, as a team. Uh, it, it would be I would say it would be easily to run under 61 minutes, um, but uh, of course, uh, all we, like up the and me, we changed all two, three kilometers, and also we motivate us by ourselves that that we like we say, for example, let's catch the other guy in the front. Um, so yeah, we know, we both know. Um, it wouldn't make sense to push more because we know we were only two um, to work together um, and yeah like but we were still a little bit surprised that the 10k mark was past in 29 minutes and then it get even uh, slower till 15k Um, but uh, of course it was, was too fast and I 
would say um, like yeah the first 5k of course it was all like the same range from the pace it was 54 pace um, but after 15 I, I know that it will be really hard to to reach the time for 64 minutes so at that time I was more focused on the race um, to, to win our group but uh, nevertheless I, I did a lot of pace uh, with, with Kanti Nagi um, I think in, in total everyone did uh, like 10k um, for basic job but I think it was also yeah we had a good group it is still better to have a group and yeah, it doesn't matter if, if all the time it changed a lot um, I think it was, was fine uh, with, with Andy and we passed uh, some yeah we catch, we catch some uh, athletes from, from the front so at, at the end I was uh, sixth so that was really fine um, and the crowd was amazing in, in some parts um, so that was was really good, um, but uh, it felt faster than it was, unfortunately. But um, yeah, it's a next small step to Hamburg, but uh, still a lot of work to do. Yeah, I had the same goal than uh, Richard uh, to run under 61. Today I think it was a little bit too windy um, for, for our goal, but I'm happy uh, I ran uh, my PB. 61 uh, 23 in the end and the nice last uh, 5k i had the battle with the european champion and the silver medalist from the olympics i think uh, it was a good fight yeah in the end i lose the fight but i think it was a uh, was a good race for me i'm happy uh, yeah it's also for me the, the next step to run uh, the 60.